Envelopes provide a flexible way to create adjustable and repeatable modulation patterns. They are typically generated in effect the group level. Zone envelopes, on the other hand, affect the zone level. In today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to use zone envelopes to modulate zone parameters. And never miss the tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. So envelopes provide a flexible way to create adjustable and repeatable modulation patterns. And they're typically generated by envelope generators and affect the parameters at the group level. But with zone envelopes, you can draw any pattern in perfect sync with your sample and they only affect parameters at the zone level. So let's take a look at zone envelopes and how we can use them to modulate zone parameters. So first I'm going to make a new instrument just by double clicking on a sample. All right. And then um, I'm going to open up the wave editor. And then once you're in the wave editor um, tab, click on the zone envelopes tab. Okay, so let's take a look at the zone envelopes tab. So um, there's a couple different buttons. I'm going to start here in the middle. Um, so by default, the first thing of the zone that could be modulated is the volume and pan. So these first two buttons will always default to volume and pan. And the third button um, uh, is assigned to the last touch button on the group level. So the first two are dedicated to zone parameters and the last one is for group parameters. Um, you also have a quick a quick jump button. So every time you click on one of these um, buttons, it will create a zone envelope and also a an associated uh, modulation router entry. And so when you do um, the currently selected zone envelope um, that's selected in this drop down, well, you can get to the modulation router um, entry by clicking on a quick jump. So this is similar to the quick jump you see in other other parts of contact. You also have a delete button. So um, if you have a zone envelope selected, you you select it um, from the, with a drop down button and the delete button will delete it. Also, as I'll show you later, if you come down to the modulation router and delete it from there, it will delete the zone envelope as well. You also have a pencil tool that will allow you to create and edit straight lines. Um, I mean, you can use it when you're not in slice mode, but it's more effective when you're in slice mode. It allows you to draw, draw straight lines between slice, slice markers. Then you have your standard cut, copy, and paste. You know, you can select the uh, sections between zones, um, on between breakpoints actually, and you can cut, copy, and paste them. Um, you also have an envelope loop. Um, this allows you to loop the region. Um, so you can actually have a set of breakpoints and have it loop. Um, you can use this to um, have your parameters um, follow along with the loop that you've created. Um, in the uh, sample loop section. This button right here, copy current sample loop, would allow you to copy um, the currently selected loop. So if you have a loop already set up, um, you set it up here first and then you come to the zone envelope and you click this button and it'll copy your loop here. Um, you have a random randomized um, envelope button. Um, what this does is this uh, works with slice samples and allows you to just make random patterns. Um, it, you can use it with non-slice material, but it works better with um, slice material. And then the last button is envelope follows playback speed. So if you are using, um, if you're using a time base uh, parameter like uh, like beat machine or time machine, uh, this will uh, this playback speed will adjust um, the envelope here. Also, if you make a manual uh, timing change, uh, your region will follow your playback speed. Okay, so that's an overview of the buttons here. So let's take a look at uh, what we can do. So we have pan. 
pan set up already volume set up so if you click pan it will add a pan zone envelope so now you have a pan zone envelope okay now to add a breakpoint so when you click your zone there's only one breakpoint it's at the beginning um, to add another one what you do is you right click so either you right click or you command click and this is how you add another breakpoint so to move your breakpoints you click on the breakpoint and you just drag it you can drag it up down left right okay and you you know I just showed you how to add you can add an additional breakpoint just by right clicking okay so now if you want to adjust the curves of your breakpoint what you need to do is you need to click on the circle in between two breakpoints so here you have um, breakpoint one breakpoint two to turn to change this from a straight line what you need to do is click on the circle and drag that's how you that's how you get the shape okay And to remove a breakpoint, what you need to do is just right click on it. All right, so right click on that, remove that, and I think that's fine. So now, I mean, the beauty of using zone envelopes is um, you can do things like this. So you can, because you have a waveform view in front of you, you can, um, you know, you can zoom in. You can make parameter changes that are based on the actual um, material that's in your sample. So here you can see I have the the pan changing between uh, three different drum hits. Um, and if you if you slice this up, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, you can take this a little bit further. Okay, so I have one um, volume. I have one. Um, a zone envelope which is pan and if I click on the quick jump button it will take me to the modulation router so the modulation router is exactly the same um, as all the others you have your your modulation shaper invert button your intensity you know this of course adjusts how much um, the parameter changes um, how, how, how much the modulation affects your parameter um, and of course if I click uh, delete zone parameter is zone envelope is gone okay just gonna add it back and just gonna add a couple breakpoints okay so I know for uh, most of the zone envelopes I like to set the intensity down to about 70% um, you need to play with this a little bit just to get the sound that you want um, it really depends on um, you know how you like your sound but I, you know I like I like the the changes not to be that abrupt so I leave it on 70% most of the time Okay, so now if I play this, okay, so you, you, you probably won't hear that uh, that change through the speakers, but what's happening is pan is being adjusted. I mean, you can see it here. Pan is being adjusted left and right, and that is happening at the zone level, not at the group level, okay? Okay, so now... Let me show you how to how to modulate um, group parameters. So, in this uh, in this specific example, I only have one group, but I'm going to take something that I can only access in a group. All right, so tune. So, I, what you do is you click on the control first. You go to the wave editor, and what happens is this changes to the last touch control. All right, so keep in mind that zone doesn't have tune, okay? Only group. So now 
I have added a um, zone envelopes for tune. So I can come in here and add breakpoints and I can change the tune to something funky like this. Alright, that's a crazy example, but that's you know how you do it. Okay, now for my last and final trick, I'm going to uh, slice this up and show you how you can have your breakpoints snap to slice markers. Um, and in my opinion, this is probably the like the best use of zone sample. So let's delete these. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me go here. And let me slice this. Use beat machine. Just gonna delete a few of these. It's a little sensitive, but don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. All right, I'm not gonna do all of them for um, sake of time. Okay, so now if I go back into zone envelopes, you can see that the slice markers still remain. So let's do uh, pan again, and I'm gonna add my break points. And here, as you can see, they are snapping to the nearest brick the slice marker this is actually pretty slick and then so what you can do now is you can um if you oh, let me show you two things if you use a pencil tool you can get parameters like this by using a pencil tool so this is how you get your straight lines okay so once you draw it you just click on it to move it up and down and so you also, when you use a pencil tool, uh, make sure you turn it off when you're done with it or else you can uh, mess up a perfectly good zone envelope. And then um, if you click randomize when you use uh, slice slice mode, you can get things like random patterns such as this. So this can lead to some creative um, effects and you know if, if you've ever if you're ever looking for a different sound and you know you're 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 stuck or you're bored with um, what you have you can definitely try slicing your sample up and using some random uh, zone envelopes zone envelopes are a fun and flexible way to modulate parameters because you can draw the pattern I love the fact that the envelope is overlaid on a waveform of the sample so that you can get your envelope in sync with your sample visually. Um, and for more rhythmic envelopes, just try turning on the grid and using a pencil tool. So don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. I go make some music.